I got one room. Okay, I got one. I only got one room, but I'm just gonna tell you, I'm gonna warn you, it's got a shower head that is leaking a little bit. So I was in Grovetown, Georgia. I had just finished riding the Uchi Creek Greenway and also the Grovetown trails at Uchi Creek. Enjoyed a nice day of riding and videotaping trails. And I was sitting there at Shane's Rib Shack enjoying that barbecued chicken, thinking, hmm, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna go home? Maybe I should go somewhere. You know, I got tomorrow free. Maybe I should just go someplace else and ride another trail. I like exploring. I think it goes back to when I was a kid. My dad was a minister for seven years. Our family was on the road full time without any brick and mortar house to go home to. We lived in an RV or for a while it was a bus, a converted Greyhound bus on the road full time for seven years. Like the old Alwyn Wall band song said, you meet a lot of people, shake a lot of hands, talk over dinner, make your plans, but I've never gained me a real friend in the end. And that's sort of the way it was. You didn't really have deep friendships with people because you were only there for a little while, maybe a week before it was time to move on to the next place. But gosh, we saw so much of the country. I wouldn't trade those seven years for anything. And it kind of instilled within me a love of travel, a love of adventure, a love of exploration. Plus, I just enjoyed riding bikes so much as a kid and exploring even my hometowns that I think that has carried over as well. Anyway, I said all that to say this. I'm in a particular season of life right now that while I did not seek it, did not ask for it, here I am and it does afford me a, a large amount of freedom and spontaneity. And so I can just sort of go on the road, go find a bike trail, and decide sometimes, hey, do I want to go back home? Or maybe I want to go somewhere else and find a motel, stay overnight, maybe even call into work and tell them, hey, I'm going to take Monday off, I, you know, whatever. So I'm sitting at Shane's Rib Shack and I pull out my phone and I get on All Trails. All Trails is an app that you should familiarize yourself with if you like hiking and biking and um, all, cycling in all of its various forms. But I got on All Trails just to see like what's what else is close by. And there was a nice trail. It looked like um, because there's photos and descriptions and reviews. Looked like a nice trail in Statesboro, Georgia, where Georgia Southern University is located. But that was going to be about an hour and a half in a further direction away from my home. Whereas there was also some trails in Athens, Georgia, that was more like an hour and a half towards home, or at least I could either go farther away from home or I could sort of go to Athens, which was kind of on the way back home. So I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to drive to Athens now. I'm awake. I'm feeling good. I'm going to go to Athens and just get a hotel room when I get there. So I did that. Nice drive. I enjoyed listening to music on my iPod all the way. But what I did not know is that there was a road race in town that weekend. All the hotel rooms were basically full up. They were booked. So I got on the phone and I called a Howard Johnson's. I called a Hojo, as, as they call it today. Now this particular Hojo, I don't know, it's got, it's struggling a little bit because the next morning I took a picture. It doesn't have a steeple. You know, the, the little Howard Johnson's office there is supposed to have sort of a, a they used to have almost what looked like a church steeple well this one was missing the steeple i don't know what happened to it that should have been my first uh hint that there was trouble afoot but anyway i, I actually went to another hotel first they were full so i'm sitting in the parking lot i call howard johnson's and brandy answered the phone and i asked uh, she said, hi, this is Brandy. Can I help you? I said, Brandy, I'm looking for a room. Do you have anything? She said, I got one room. 
Okay, I got one. I only got one room, but I'm just gonna tell you, I'm gonna warn you, it's got a shower head that is leaking a little bit. It's dripping. And she literally said, it'll go like this, like drip, drip, drip. Now, that's the only room I got left. I'll give it to you for a hundred dollars. So on this particular night, because of the road race in Athens and all the hotel rooms being booked, a hundred dollars was the going rate for the worst room with the leaky shower head at the Howard Johnson's. I said, hold it for me, I'll be right there. She said, how far away are you? I said, 11 minutes. She said, all right, hurry. So I got myself over to the Hojo as quick as I could. I went in and talked to Brandy and she was really nice and, and uh, she gave me my, my keys. And so I went to my room and I, I gotta say, you know, for a two-star hotel, this room was, it, it was all right, you know? This room was decent. And it doesn't take a whole, you know, when I'm on these, these bike trip weekends, these bike trail trips, I just need a place to sleep. We've gone over this before. I just need a decent place to sleep and and a, a bathroom with running water. And, um, you know, if the TV works or not, who, really, who cares? I just need to get some rest so I can get back on that bike the next morning, right? So, the room, I thought, looked pretty good. But what about that bathroom? So I went to see what the deal was, because she was like, now, do you think you can, because some people say they can't sleep. They can't sleep because of the drip. Well, so I went to check it out. And let's just say it was not a drip. This was the shower head from hell, ladies and gentlemen. It was just flat out running. And they had taken a towel, they had placed a towel in the tub to catch the water, like that's gonna, what, what was that gonna do? Like that's gonna do anything, That that's gonna help anything really? Now you just got a sopping wet towel in the tub and water is continuing to just cascade down all over this towel. Other than that, a good time was had by all I don't fault Brandy. By the way, Brandy was at breakfast the next, I, I rolled in there like 11 o'clock at night. Brandy was at the Continental Breakfast the next morning. And you know what the Continental Breakfast was? You could either choose a honey bun, like a Little Debbie honey bun, or an oatmeal pie, or some, uh, some of those little packs of grits and oatmeal that you add water to. I mean, who could ask for anything more, really? So that's my bike story regarding the Howard Johnson's in Athens, Georgia with the leaky shower head. Here's what I did, and here's what you should do um, if you run into a similar situation. You go over to that, that air heat combo unit that's below the window and turn it up or down depending on what time of year or just turn the fan wide open. It, it, make sure the fan is running and that it's gonna run all night. And that way the loud fan will keep you from hearing the water that is cascading from the shower head down onto the towel and eventually down the drain of the bathtub. Problem solved. <laughs>